What's up, Code Breakers? We're back out here with Garfunkel deciphering a cipher. This one is called the Date Shift Cipher. It's a little complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it can become real easy. So, the first step to doing this cipher is you must come up with a date. Any date will do. Usually people use a major holiday, but any date will do. So, we'll use... Let's see, uh, 05 May 13th, 2021. That'll be our date. So, we must convert this date into a six-digit code. So, we'll, it's basically just take away these dashes, and there's your six-digit code. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, then you should write out your message like I did. Our message is, just keep swimming. The famous quote by Dory from Finding Nemo. Now, what I like to do is take our code and write the numbers above our code. So, 0, 5, 1, 3, 2, 1. But wait, I ran out of the code, but I still have letters out. You just take your code and repeat it. So, zero, five, one, three, two, one, until all your code, all your numbers, are over letters. Three, two, one, zero. So these numbers from the code represent how many moves you must go from that letter uh, in the alphabet. If you don't know the alphabet like I do, use your secret code wheel that you made earlier. So, the uh, number above zero, J, is zero, which means it moves zero spaces, so it's just J. Now, above U is five, so there's U, one, two, three, four, five. It's Z. So put a Z there. S is 1, so that's T. T is 3. 1, 2, 3, W. 2 from K is M. 1 from E is F. 0 from E is also E. 5 from P. One, two, three, four, five is U. One from S is T. Three from W. One, two, wait. One, two, three is Z. Two from I is K. One from M is N. Three from M is one, two, three, P. Two from I is K. One from N is O. And zero from G is G. Now, if you are at the end of the alphabet and it's like four from X, one, two, and you get to Z, you just keep going. Three, four. So it would be B. So now, since we got our code up, we also need to show that the message has ended. So at the end of that code, you write a Z Q, and that represents to your receiver that the message has ended. So now you want to decode your own message. So we get our new top secret information. Here we go. And well, here it is. See, so they included their code. If you don't have a code, it's almost impossible to break a date cipher down. So, I'm going to, like here, I'm going to write the numbers over top each letter. Two. Seven, nine, 
seven, zero, eight, two, seven, nine, seven, zero, eight. Whoops. And there's a Z Q, which means that's the end of the message, so that's where I should stop. So, since there's a zero above the M, that means that stays where it is. So, when you're doing this, you want, uh, when you're decoding a message, instead of going forward, you go backwards. So, eight backwards from I. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, which is A. Two back from A is one, two, Y. So our first word there is May. So seven from A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. T. And you keep going. Until... You have your message down. Now our message is, may the force be with you. Always a good movie quote there from Star Wars. I love Star Wars. So, also in your virtual camp package, you have received this nice cipher activity sheet. This is for you to practice your deciphering skills with messages that we sent to you. And then if you want, or on the back here is also another type of cipher called a stacked code cipher where you use multiple ciphers to uncover a message. So, we're using the ones that we learned. So right here we have the pig pen cipher uh, if you read the instructions here, you'll know that the state shift cipher is next once you crack that one, and then to use the decoder wheel to finish the last cipher. Then if you want, as always, send us your very own message to us. Take your envelope and put return to Camp Mac Codemaster to Scout Lane. Newmanstown, PA, 17073. Thank you, and we'll look forward to your messages.